The world of finance can be an intimidating place. Over the last five to 10 years, the return of traditional bonds and stocks have been disappointing. One trend gaining traction, investing in frontier and developing equity markets, whose accelerating growth is surpassing the developed economies. Frontier markets are developing economies undergoing accelerating growth and major structural improvements Unlike their more widely followed and invested emerging markets, they're less accessible, less liquid. Depending on the index, they comprise between 33 and 60 countries with a combined market capitalization of about a trillion dollars. Profitability of equity investments are ultimately driven by the underlying growth of an area. Frontier markets are expected to grow much faster than developed economies. According to the IMF, they're projected next year to grow at 6% versus 2% for de developed economies. They also represent a region of over a billion people where they are younger, growing more faster, and urbanizing and getting richer and represent a rich source of consumption for companies to profit from. Tina and her team believe that in a global macro environment dominated by uncertainties, frontier markets' relatively low correlation with the more well-known emerging markets offers investors meaningful diversification benefits. The way we navigate these risks are to identify managers with Great businesses are talented investors, but equally important, have local presence and can evaluate and negotiate the indigenous governmental, corporate, and corporate governance risks unique to each emerging market. Some of the things that we look for in companies in the frontier markets are strong balance sheets, sound management teams, with a vision and the ability to execute on their business plans. A company that we like is a distillery company in Sri Lanka. The company is trading at a price earnings ratio of 2.5 times on an adjusted basis. Uh, they have cash on the balance sheet north of 69 million with a compound, compounded annual growth rate north of 18%. Founded by Tina in 1996 and headquartered in Philadelphia, FIS Group is an asset management and investment advisory firm specializing in managing global equity portfolios, including frontier markets. The firm invests either directly in the market through the use of exchange-traded funds or by retaining smaller, talented investment managers that are combined into a fund of funds portfolio. What makes FIS Group unique as a fund of funds provider is that we are able to provide two sources of alpha, a top-down source from investment strategy and the structuring of funds, and then a bottom-up source from the security selection alpha provided by our managers. To assist in investment management practices, the firm uses a series of forecast models based on various macroeconomic and fundamental data to guide its investments into different countries and sectors of the market. Since the economic crisis in 2008, the global markets have been increasingly dominated by geopolitical and macroeconomic events. And so the purpose of our forecast models is to distill macroeconomic data, 125 variables to be exact, to help understand, navigate, and in some cases profit from those trends and risks. At FIS, what we look for in a great manager are managers that have the right group of people, that have the right culture, firms that have the right infrastructure and the right investment process. Having those three components in our experience led to successful results. I think at the end of the day, if you're trying to find a great manager, you need to think outside the box. You need to go beyond the traditional approach in selecting managers because it requires more work and in-depth analysis to uncover those managers. Currently we're in a defined benefit market 
Uh, the defined benefit market is changing as a result of uh, pressures on governments to reduce retirement costs and shifting into defined contribution. We're going to expand into the defined contribution market and develop products for that market, such as a uh, global tactical allocation strategy, but also we want to service our defined benefit clients and we're developing a frontier markets product. I would say to investors to seek opportunities for return appropriate to their level of risk. So small entrepreneurial managers don't come in the trappings that traditionally are ascribed to success. Lots of assets, lots of people. But research has shown that despite that, precisely because they're smaller, more nimble, that they can often outperform their larger peers. The world has changed. Investment strategies must meet the needs of today's investors. Learn more about FIS Group, your success, our passion. For more information, go to FISgroup.com or call the number on your screen.